Hello everyone, welcome back to the 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector exam. So in today's video, we will be discussing the question number from 51 to 55. So without any further delay, let's move on to the first question of the day. The first question is, the first drug information center was established at A choice CMC Vellu, B choice Ames New Delhi, C choice University of Kentucky US, D choice Naipur Mohali, E choice Harvard Medical School US. Okay. So the first thing you need to know, the drug information center, the drug information center DIC, the, the function of or uh, the purpose of this uh, drug information center is to provide the correct and up-to-date information about medication to the healthcare professional or the patients or public. So that is a function of the drug information center. Okay. Now the first drug information center was established in the University of Kentucky, US. So the correct answer for this question would be University of Kentucky, US. C choice. Now if the question is the, which is the first drug information center in India, the answer is New Delhi, the All India Institute of Medical Science, New Delhi. So if the question is, the, which is the first drug information center in India, the answer is All India Institute of Medical Science, New Delhi. And if the question is, which is the first drug information center in Kerala, which is the first drug information center in Kerala, the correct answer is Government Medical College, Tiruvananthapuram. So, if the question, read the question carefully. If the question is the drug in, first drug information center in Kerala, the answer is Government Medical College Thiruvananthapuram. If the question is the first drug information center in India, the answer is All India Institute of Medical Science, New Delhi. Whereas, if, the, if they don't mention any place, then it is the first drug information center in the world. That is nothing but University of Kentucky. And in University of Kentucky, the first drug information center was developed by uh, this was established by a clinical pharmacist called as Dr. Kenneth Miller. So the first drug information center in the world was established at the University of Kentucky by the clinical pharmacist Dr. Kenneth Miller. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is C choice. Now let's move on to the second question of the day. Which of the following drug contain imidazole? A choice oxyconazole, B choice clotrimazole, C choice tinidazole, E choice pilocarpin, E choice all of the above. Now, if you carefully look at the choice, oxyconazole and clotrimazole they are uh, antifungal drug, whereas tinidazole is an anti amoebic drug, pilocarpin is an anti cholinergic drug. Sorry, pilocarpin is a cholinergic drug. Now, the question is. Uh, whether it contains this uh, particular ring called as imidazole or not. Okay. So, the first thing before coming to the answer, let's discuss. In the case of antifungal drug, in the case of antifungal drug, most some of the drugs have a structure having the basic nucleus imidazole. Now, what is imidazole? Imidazole is nothing but a five membered ring with the two nitrogen atoms at the first and the third position. So this structure is called as imidazole. It's a five membered ring and there are two nitrogen atoms and the nitrogen atom is at the first position and second nitrogen is at the third position. So this structure is called as imidazole. Okay. Now you need to know the, the drugs coming under this category, antifungal drug, drug having imidazole structure. So you can remember, I come by, you can remember this mnemonic, I come by, I come fast by, I come fast by silk air. I come fast by silk air. Okay. I means uh, imidazole, 
C, I come. C stands for clot primazole. O stands for oxyconazole. M stands for myconazole. E stands for econazole. Uh, fast F stands for fun. The fast F stands for fenticonazole. F also stands for flutrimazole. By B stands for butoconazole. One more uh, the drug starting with B. Biphonazole. S stands for sulconazole. In the case of I, I does I stands for isoconazole. Don't confuse it with itraconazole. We'll come to that itraconazole later on. So here I stands for in the silk air. I stands for isoconazole. Okay. Now, um, S also stands for sertaconazole. Apart from sulconazole, remember sertaconazole. Okay. So, S stands for sulconazole, sertaconazole. I stands for isoconazole. L stands for luliconazole. Luliconazole. K stands for ketoconazole. So, remember this mnemonic. I come fast by silk air. So, these are the drugs coming under the Imidazole category having the action antifungal action. Okay, having an antifungal action. Okay. Now, uh, uh, as I told uh, here, I is isoconazole stands uh, isoconazole having the basic ring imidazole. Remember one more um, structure for antifungal apart from imidazole. Remember triazoles. So there are certain drugs having three nitrogen atoms. And uh, they are they belongs to the category triazoles. Okay. So all these drugs. All these drugs belong to imidazole category. Now, coming to the triazole category, you can remember this mnemonic flu VIP. Flu VIP, where F stands, flu stands for fluconazole, fluconazole, V stands for voriconazole. I stands for itraconazole. So, itraconazole is not an imidazole derivative, where it is it's a, it's a triazole derivative, triazole derivative. Apart from uh, itraconazole, remember one more drug with I, isavuconazole. Okay, so, itraconazole and isavuconazole uh, is a triazole derivative, whereas isoconazole is an imidazole derivative. And here P stands for osaconazole. Okay, so remember these antifungal drugs having imidazole structure and triazole structure. For imidazole, just remember this mnemonic I come fast by silk air. Okay, clear? So these are the antifungal drugs having uh, uh, imidazole structure. Now, uh, certain anti amoebic drugs, now coming to anti amoebic drugs. So, anti amoebic drugs, so the anti amoebic drugs also have this imidazole structure. Now you need to know the which are the drugs having imidazole structure and having anti amoebic action. So, you can remember all the transport systems. One is metro. To move from one place to another, you have metro. You have train. To move from one place to another, you have Ola car. Ola is there. Normal car is there. You have ship. To move from one country to another, you have plane. So just remember all this transportation method. Now, what is metro stands for? Yes, metro stands for metronidazole. Metronidazole contains imidazole structure. In the train, T stands for genidazole. O stands for ornidazole. The car, car stands for carnidazole. The S in the ship stands for secnidazole. 
and uh, the plain p stands for panidazole so these are the anti amoebic drugs having imidazole nucleus okay metro train ola car ship plane you can remember all these drugs okay so these they contain uh, imidazole now you remember one more uh, drug Uh, which is actually having cholinergic which is a, which is a drug belonging to cholinergic category it's a cholinergic agonist which we have studied it in the parasympathetic system remember this drug pilocarpin so pilocarpin also have imidazole structure pilocarpin also have imidazole structure apart from imidazole pilocarpin also contains furan so just remember the nucleus or the rings present in or the heterocyclic rings present in pilocarpin pilocarpin contain imidazole and dihydrofuran okay so imidazole and dihydrofuran are the heterocyclic rings present in pilocarpin okay now coming back to our question which of the following drug contain imidazole oxyconazole is an antifungal drug having imidazole clotrimazole is an antifungal drug having imidazole structure tinidazole is an anti amoebic drug having imidazole structure and pilocarpin is a cholinergic drug having imidazole structure so the correct answer for this question would be e choice all of the above okay so hope you understood the second question of the day now let's move on to the third question of the day senchroman was developed by a choice cdl b choice niper C choice C R I, D choice C D R I, E choice I V R I. Okay. So senchroman. You need to remember a couple of points with the senchroman. So senchroman is a birth control pill. it's a birth control pill it belongs to the estrogen category that is a selective estrogen receptor modulator it is a selective estrogen receptor modulator in fact it is the first non steroidal oral contraceptive pill it is the first non steroidal oral contraceptive pill abbreviated as ocp so basically the senchroman is a oral contraceptive pill in fact it's a non steroidal compound normally this um, estrogen containing compounds have a steroidal structure whereas uh, senchroman it does not have a steroid that is why it is a non steroidal oral contraceptive pill and the brand name of this drug you might have heard saheli saheli is the brand name of senchroman and the senchromain is also called as ormeloxifen or meloxifen ormeloxifen is a uh, selective estrogen receptor modulator okay and this is developed by this is developed by dr s s ratnam Doctor S S Ratnam and his team uh, of C D R I. Now, what is C D R I? C D R I is Central Drug Research Institute. So, the Centromain was the first non-steroidal O C P oral contraceptive pill developed by Doctor S S Ratnam from the C D R I Central Drug Research Institute. Okay. Now, coming back to your question. So, Centromain was developed by the answer would for this question would be definitely C D R I. C D R I is in Lucknow. Okay. So, the answer is D choice. Okay. Now, coming back to the first case, uh, first choice, C D L. What is C D L? C D L is Central Drug Laboratory. Where is it located? It is located in Kolkata. So CDL is in Kolkata, West Bengal. Now coming to the third choice, CRI. What is CRI? Central Research Institute. CRI stands for Central Research Institute, where it is located, Kasauli. 
the soil is in himachal pradesh okay now cdri already i mentioned central drug research institute where it is located lucknow uttar pradesh now coming to ivri ivri it is nothing but indian veterinary research institute indian veterinary research institute Now where it is located it is located in izad nagar izad nagar it is in uttar pradesh okay now coming to the second choice naipur what is naipur national institute of pharmaceutical education and research how many naipurs are there yes there are seven naipurs naipur mohali is there naipur hyderabad is there naipur kolkata is there naipur guwahati is there naipur ahmedabad is there naipur rai bareilly is there naipur hajipur is there which is the first naipur first naipur is at mohali first naipur came at mohali so the question here was centroma and it is developed by dr ss ratnam and his team from central drug research institute lucknow okay now let's move on to the next question of the day which of the following is an irreversible cox inhibitor irreversible cox inhibitor so normally you know that cox the meaning of cox is cyclooxygenase cyclooxygenase helps in the formation of prostaglandins this enzyme helps in the formation of prostaglandins prostaglandin in fact causes uh, fever pain inflammation platelet function aggregation of platelets and all that now if you if you remember this nsaid chapter non steroidal anti inflammatory drug they inhibit this cox enzyme non steroidal anti inflammatory drug inhibit cox enzyme therefore the prostaglandin formation will come down your pain fever temperature inflammation and uh, will come down okay also it inhibit the platelet aggregation also okay so non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs are cox inhibitor now whether it is reversible inhibition or irreversible inhibition the answer is all the cox inhibitors are reversible inhibitor except aspirin so aspirin is the irreversible cox inhibitor where whereas other cox inhibitors they are all reversible whereas aspirin is a irreversible cox inhibitor so what would be the answer for the, in the question acetyl salicylic acid is the other name of aspirin chemical name of aspirin so the correct answer would be a choice acetyl salicylic acid aspirin is chemically acetyl salicylic acid whereas ibuprofen silicoxib ketorolac paracetamol they are they are reversible cox inhibitors they are reversible cox inhibitor okay let's move on to the next quest last question of the day estrogen is secreted by a choice ovaries b choice placenta c choice adrenal glands d choice testis e choice all of the above now you know that estrogen they are female sex hormones and they are mainly secreted by ovaries and during pregnancy it is secreted by placenta also now in smaller quantities both in the males as well as in the adrenal glands adrenal glands and testis adrenal glands as well as testis secrete estrogen in smaller quantities in small amounts So here, question was: Estrogen is secreted by ovaries, placenta, adrenal gland, and testis. Which would be the correct answer? Answer would be all of the above. Okay. Majorly, it is secreted by ovaries. Majorly, it is secreted by ovaries in during pregnancies. Uh, placenta also secretes estrogen in large large quantities. There is adrenal gland and testis secreted in small amounts. Okay. So here, the question uh, question was just: Estrogen is secreted by. Then the answer would be all of the above. So hope you understood. Uh, today is uh, five questions and um, keep on watching our videos support our videos thank you so much